Roswell Flight Test Crew, here at the Consumer Electronics Show in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. We want to thank Go Professional Cases and the Academy of Model Air Knox for making this trip possible. Now I hear they got some drones in that building back there. Let's go take a look. All right. Fresh out of the gate here, we found the Extreme Flyers booth and Vernon Kurzweil. How you doing, Vernon? Hey, hey, how you doing? Good I'm to see you. Good to, good to see you too, good to see you too. And they've got this little micro drone 3.0 buzzing around here. And this thing is amazing. Why don't you tell us a little bit about your ship here? So today we're launching the micro drone 3.0. This is the next generation. It's our flagship new product. And this is the debut here at CES. So the first innovation is this new virtual reality cardboard live streaming camera. So the, the, the camera on board streams live footage from the drone to your iPhone. The iPhone simply clicks into here. So it goes into there and then you see it live on the iPhone, um, put that on there, and then simply wear it, and it straps it to your head so you can see it while you're flying, and you can fly it with your controller whilst it's strapped to your head with FPV. And although this looks like a cardboard box, and indeed it is a cardboard box, there are actually some lenses in here, so you're getting a nice focused image, in spite of the fact it's kind of a low-tech solution. And I think we may have buried the headline here, which is that this little tiny aircraft you've got is doing FPV. I mean, that, even that's not to be taken for granted. Exactly. So until now, a drones, if you want an FPV, you had to buy the equipment for it. So you had to buy a monitor, a receiver, and a transmitter. So what we've done, we've built all of that into one single module so that camera records and streams it live while you're flying to your iPhone. It connects via to your, to your iPhone with a dedicated Wi-Fi connection so you can stream it live. So, and it's, it's like, a, like a 65 bucks add-on. So instead of like a 200 bucks. That's amazing, that's amazing. So what, what other innovations have you got with this little aircraft here? So the other thing is the HD camera. We're launching a, a 720 by 1280p resolution video camera, which makes glorious video. It's also dual control, so you can fly with your iPhone and your controller. So if you want to fly with your iPhone, you can fly it around, it's got a quirky controller, so you can actually fly it, you know, tilting it with your iPhone. And also with a proper remote, you can actually you get the professional remote with another 120 meter range so you can go extremely long distance and also have a stunt mode for acrobatics. Simply just um, look it into stunt mode and you've got free flight, you can do flips, you can do um, manual flips and you can fly 45 miles an hour at full tilt. So this has really got two separate modes. It's got more of a sort of a curbs on one for the beginner and then you flip it into that acrobatic mode you can just go wild. That's for your acrobatic pilot. Exactly, yeah. Because a lot of hobbyists who want a proper drone, they want this kind of functionality. So we've built it just a flick of the switch and there you go. So the next thing is the modular construction. So we've got a magnetic system. All the parts simply snap on and off like that. <laughs> there's no wires, no screws and there's a selection of modules, so you can just customize it and personalize it. You've got an HD camera, a Wi-Fi camera, you've got a Gatling gun, a laser pen, you can shoot little Nerf gun rockets. All these are modules which just snap on and like that. That's fantastic. And, and they just, and so no, it just is little magnets, so just click and you're good to go. Exactly, yeah. It's um, very simple. And then what else we got? So this world's smallest gimbal snaps on, it weighs only 15 grams, so we strip back everything to make it that size, so you can carry on the micro drone. And that keeps the, the, the footage stable. So as you're flying forward or backwards, it keeps the camera level. So you can pan across, you can take sweeping shots with your drone, and the micro gimbal uses an accelerometer to stabilize the drone camera. A, a, a gimbal on an aircraft that size, it's unreal, unreal. So we wanted a drone which is easy to fix and repair if it breaks. Because let's face it, if you crash it on, on, on Christmas Day, by Boxing Day, it's gonna be in pieces. So we, don't, we didn't want a product which was gonna be like that. So we made all the parts click together like Lego. So you can just pull it out, put it in again, and there's no soldering, no assembly, it just plugs straight in. So it's really, really easy to change parts. And then you can even use different parts, add bigger limbs. Exactly, so th there's three options. So we had a modular design, so you can put in different sizes of motor arms. So you have a small motor, a big motor, or an extra large motor. So three different sizes of drones. You can just customize it, just snap them in and out. So it's super simple. Now the two big questions, what's it gonna cost and when can we buy one? Price is only a hundred bucks for the drone. Just Wait, a hun hundred bucks, that's US? That's not That's not your fancy uh, British money? Fans, no, <laughs> it's the US dollars. So we wanted it to be a drone under a hundred bucks. That comes with everything you need to fly um, with the controller, ready to go. And um, all the other accessories are super cheap as well, ranging from 20 bucks to 65 bucks for a gimbal. So it's amazing. 
That, that is amazing. And then when's it going to be available? Um, we're going to launch a Kickstarter campaign shortly. So keep an eye on the website, sign up for our newsletter, and we'll let you know when that happens. And we hope to be shipping in Ju July or August time. All right, July or August. So very exciting. Check out the extremeflyers.co.uk for the new Micro Drone 3.0. And from CES in Las Vegas 2015, this is the Roswell Flight Test Crew signing off. Thanks, Vernon. Thank you.